I'm Dean Tavalaris. I was the production designer on the three Godfather movies. And this is the first time I've been back to the Lower East Side where we shot uh, parts of all three films. But this street here, 6th Street, between Avenue B and A, we transformed and worked for about six months to change it back to 1912. I remember driving through New York looking for this particular location. It was our biggest New York location. And when we drove by this street, I thought, well, this, this could be it. I discovered happily that there was a Ukrainian committee here trying to piece together the history of this street. So they were open to the idea of shooting because it was quite difficult. We had to get permission from hundreds of people and businesses. Over there was a funeral parlor, for instance. It's very difficult to close down a funeral parlor, but they relented and we changed that front into a bank. While we were preparing the set, a young film student named Mark Ketchell approached us because he wanted to shoot a documentary. We are now coming into the bank of a film about the making of The Godfather Part II. Francis gave him complete access to the set. They have done a tremendous job here, and I think Paramount should be proud of it. Now we're coming down to my building here, which they have made the hardware store. They've got signs. Warnings. That just makes it look terrific. New fronts were put on all these streets, and the buildings were repainted. Further down the street, there's Elizabeth Street, where we shot Godfather Three. We transformed that whole street when the Andy Garcia character, also during a festival, was riding on horseback. Daza. And next to that is Mott Street that we used for Godfather One. It's where we had the exterior of the Jenko olive oil factory and where the Don, as he was buying fruit at the fruit stand, was shot. This whole Lower East Side was a very big back lot, a real back lot for the three Godfathers. We storyboarded this street. There was, you know, very specific requirements about what we had to accomplish here. One of the shots that I like very much is that when Bob De Niro, as a young boy, was working in a grocery store, the Abandano grocery store on this side of the street, and he carries a box of groceries down the sidewalk, then steps off the curb and crosses the street and delivers the groceries. I wanted the camera in the middle of the street, and it would follow him against the buildings and then turn and look down the street as he crossed the street when you saw all the immigrants and all their vegetable carts. This is the front that we used when the young Clemenza came out of the, the doorway after he was visiting a girl. The laundry was hung. And we added many, many signs. All these lampposts, of course, were taken out and the old shepherd's crook, New York, lampposts were put in. We had cutouts of water towers. The traffic lights were all removed for blocks down. Another very important aspect of the street was to, to get this shot after Bobby De Niro's character tracks Benucci. He goes up to the rooftops and he's running along the rooftop one after the other. We were able to shoot and track along with him as he ran on the rooftops without seeing any, any out of period buildings. And then there was intercut with shots here from the street level. As the street began to take shape, I thought it was going to be very nice. It was an interesting job for a designer. on the San Gennaro sequence where we put the, the light bulb arches and all the 
little stalls where people bought sandwiches and sausages and this very strange Madonna being brought down the street with this squeaky Italian band. The Madonna covered in dollar bills added, I thought, a, a great twist to the growth of the mafia uh, within Little Italy. The studio wanted to do the film in the back lot, but you notice these are all six-story buildings, and the Hollywood back lots were four. I wanted to shoot down the street. That's what I was looking for. In the Hollywood back lots, you always had this T where you were always blocked because you'd see the Hollywood Hills or Burbank. So after shooting here for weeks, I think the people, the inconvenience of not being able to get into their homes and having to wait to be allowed to enter their own apartments got to them. So I think we got out just in the right time and they were happy to see us go probably. I don't blame them. I mean, it was a, it was a great gift that they gave us in the beginning and we appreciate that, still do. Why did you choose to come to 6th Street instead of doing a set? Well, we thought that it was just better to hack it in New York in a, a real place and spend the money in really terrific detail. Well, it was to Francis's credit that he was the kind of director who stuck by his guns and wanted to do this picture the right way. The whole texture of the films and that quality would have been lost.